Hello, my name is Tiffany Barron, and I will be analyzing a scene in the 1960 film Psycho. I will be focusing on the sound during the scene Arbogastman's mother to answer the question, how does Alfred Hitchcock use sound to create tension? In this scene, the private investigator returns to the motel for a second time wanting to consult with Norman's mother, after expressing interest to Norman in his first visit. Hitchcock is referred to as the master of suspense, and is known for crafting scenarios that keeps the audience on the edge of their seats through sound. In this film, the music is created only with string instruments, which gives a very stripped-down and raw feeling. As a result, throughout the film, different sections of the film's score all sound the same, as it accents the main theme. In this scene, sound is very important. This is because there are many emotions displayed throughout the scene. Walking up to the stairs of the house, the pitch of the music is much lower than it was before. The sound effects of the footsteps on the stairs are present in the scene, bringing the audience's attention back to the scene rather than predicting what is coming next. The change in music changes the mood of the scene from curiosity to stress. This is because the mood change creates dramatic irony, where the audience can sense that something is about to happen that the character does not know about. Throughout the film, the house has been associated with danger through its music. In this example, Arbogast looks up at the house and the music becomes much louder and much more intense. So when Arbogast goes into the house, it makes the audience nervous for what is about to happen to him. Once Arbogast reaches the top of the staircase, the music changes from short spurts of the melody to a long, continuous note. This reflects his uncertainty of his choices. Should he go into the house, or should he do the ethical thing and return to his car? Entering the house, there is no background music, putting all the diegetic sounds, for example the door opening and the footsteps, into main focus. This brings the viewer's attention into the exact moment again. Throughout the film, we as the viewer have been conditioned into thinking that moments with the music lead to a bad ending, while silence represents a positive outcome for the characters. So when Arbogast enters the Bates house, it gives the audience reassurance that nothing bad is going to happen to him, when in reality, it is the opposite. In the house, the music allows the viewers to delve into the mind of Arbogast and shares certain emotions. Most noticeably is curiosity. When he is looking around at different parts of the house, the melody changes, until he looks at, at the stairs, where the music is played very low and quiet compared to the other segments. Then when Arbogast keeps looking, the melody continues. This makes the staircase stand out to the audience. Walking up the stairs, all diegetic sounds are drowned out by music, causing all the attention to be on the change of music. It changes from a short melody to a long, continuous high note on the stringed instruments. This part of the music is similar to the music when Arbogast was on the stairs with the long, low note. This could indicate that his choice of going up the stairs rather than leaving once again will cause unforeseen consequences. The pitch of the music is unnerving, as it is much higher than any of the music heard in the film, creating a rise in tension. Once the upstairs door opens, the high note is accompanied by a low, mysterious note, which indicates the viewer that something is about to happen that the character is unaware about, building tension once again. At the top of the staircase, following the slow music, the music volume and intensity increases extremely rapidly, like a jump scare catching the audience off guard, making them feel scared and unprepared. The famous string screeching in this scene indicates to the audience that everything they had anticipated in relation to the safety of Arbogast was in fact false, and that he was going to die once he entered the house. The first diegetic sound heard in this sequence is the stab, which shows how surprised Arbogast was of this result since he didn't hear or see anything coming, leaving him unprotective and defenseless. Falling down the stairs, the sound of his feet connect to the music in a small way, showing the audience that the scene isn't over yet and things can still happen, contributing to the tension felt in this scene. Once he hits the floor, however, the music sequence appears to be ending, with the constant breaks in the melody. These constant breaks also match up with the stabbing, indicating that Arbogast had met, has met his end. The scream at the end shows this as well, as it is the last sound that is heard from him, showing that he is dead a consequence of entering the Bates house uninvited. 